Hello indie game fans, rounding off the big content patches for July are updates to another lot of my favourites which have been steadily moving along in early access. Beginning with, for multiple times in a row, don't starve together, return of them troubled waters. Since I started covering patches, Clay Entertainment seems to be on a monthly schedule with this game and it's a great way to keep a community going, so big props to them. The adorable co-op title Moving Out released to great reception in April, and this is their latest free update. It adds one new mover, more dance moves, but more importantly, adds the 4th difficulty level in Platinum Times and Medals for every level. Now for something totally insane. The turn-based action combat title Worms Armageddon released in 1999 and was one of the pivotal keystones of my gaming childhood but somehow in 2020, patch 3.8 is a new thing. It adds more custom game options and modes, uncapped frame rate support, features for streamers, improved compatibility with new operating systems and more. There's over 370 fixes, 45 changes and 61 new features and it's a reminder to me of how wonderful modern gaming can be. <laughs> Founders Fortune is a neat little colony sim which has been getting updates with the animal update, obviously, adding cows and pigs, animal resources and more. Pokemon MMO Temtem has been a huge success with their first major update adding a new location filled with new Temtem, new battles, more story content and even an increased level cap. Attention Temtem Tamers, the island of Kasiwa is under siege by the sinister clan Belsodo. It's up to you to take up the perilous task of fighting back the Belsodo invasion and liberate Kasiwa from the evil clutches of General X. The resistance needs your help. This is a call to arms for all Temtem Tamers, from seasoned veterans to the newest recruits of the Airborne Archipelago. And it won't be easy. It will take advanced skills to traverse Kasiwa, and the journey there is littered with obstacles, foes, and of course, dozens of new Temtem to capture and train. But you're not alone. And with new ways to interact with fellow tamers, coordinating your efforts to take back Kisiwa will be easier than ever. Time is running out, tamers. Join the resistance today. With your help, we can vanquish Clan Bel Soto and save the island of Kisiwa.
Ballistic NG is an excellent, if purposefully retro-looking time trial racer, with the Outer Reaches paid DLC adding 6 new traps, playable both in forward and reverse, and this comes together with the 1.2 patch as well. Write something different, something darker. I'm not a kid anymore. I have to make my own choices. No, no, no. Never move the victim. Jenny LeClue Detective Wu was a pretty well made adventure game released in 2019, and the free Spoken Secrets update most importantly adds full voice acting, which is just perfect for this type of game. The only crime here is that haircut. You are a dead body. Dead bodies don't talk. Jenny! Hi! I suspected myself for quite some time, but I couldn't have done it. A little birdie told me I'd find three unruly kids out after curfew. The Enigma Report investigation starts now. What was I thinking? I've gone too far. It's like a creepier version of Dr. Benderson's office. There comes a time when every young woman has to chart her own course. But does it have to be right now? The sewer grate is talking! Yes. No. Wow, this guy's a real chatterbox. I don't believe in ghosts. And the tall tales of a bunch of airheads won't change my mind. This whole town is dead, stuck in the past. Where's the ambition, the sense of adventure? Are we still talking about basketball? Fantasy Strike was quite a clever beginner's fighting game that aimed to make the genre as accessible as possible to new players, and now that it is free to play, there's no reason not to give it a try. It adds new characters, with the free version allowing you to play as all characters without restriction in online multiplayer, although arcade, survival, boss rush, local versus and online friend matches still need to be purchased. Hello ducklings, this is just a little update video to tell you about two new exciting additions to Bomber Grounds. Our beloved Candyland map has had a brand new upgrade to make it look even more delicious. The super adorable Bomberman but as a battle royale 
Bomber Grounds also got its 0.9.2 update, tweaking some maps, but this is in addition to the 0.9 update last month, which I did happen to miss. Free to play monetization warning, but it's fun to dive in. Changes to Candyland and the new map. Let us know in the comments below. We always love hearing your feedback. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in game. One title which I've seen being compared to Power Stone is Mighty Fight Federation, and strangely enough, has a tie-in with Tool Jam and O of all things, adding the brothers from Planet Funkatron and a new stage inspired by their latest game. Very pleased to find out that we would got an update titled Seafarer since this survival game was released in early 2016 and I do remember covering this on the channel way back when. Its look has significantly improved 4 years down the road, with this update adding a whole host of sea traversal options and systems. The monster taming Metroidvania Monster Sanctuary rolls onward with the Mystical Workshop update, adding a new area with a bunch of mechanical monsters. This is a late game area, on par with the underworld in the previous update, with new story content as well. I'm most excited to browse the updated monster journal, with brand new pixel art for all the monsters, and looking forward to the next update for sure. Preparing to strike. Ah, beautiful. Only experienced monster keepers are able to take on the challenge of taming these creatures. How have you been, fellow survivors? I hope you're still doing well. Now, let's take a look at the new stuff we have in Beto. We recently noticed that it's not just our water that can become a hazard for us due to radiation. Our food can too. For that reason, our researchers came up with the idea of the decontamination post, which produces so-called decontamination kits. The fifth update to Endzone A World Apart is titled Radiation, which adds buildings and systems to help players better deal with this hazard in this post-apocalyptic world. It continues to be awesome and is shaping up to be a great entry in the genre. Extract resources from the surrounding mountains, such as coal and iodine. Yes, you heard that correctly, iodine. Once our miners began to prospect, they found a completely new resource for us to work with. Iodine is a valuable new resource which can be recovered in mines and processed into iodine tablets in our medical facilities, allowing us to free our bodies from radiation. Coal itself isn't completely new to us, but we found out that it's considerably more efficient and resource conserving to mine coal in a mine compared to the complex processes of a charcoal kiln. That's it for now, fellow survivors. See you again in a few weeks.
the co-op submarine survival game Borrow Trauma has had its share of updates as well, with New Frontiers being the biggest one so far. It improves upon the core campaign with a bunch of other tweaks and updates as it moves towards its 1.0 launch. Speaking of 1.0 launches, Scourgebringer had the Old World update, which adds a completely new realm with new enemies, a mini boss, and boss fights as well. For the playable character, this includes additional skills and altar upgrades with an experimental difficulty management option that allows you to tweak the game to your liking. This will be the final update before its full release, and I'm very impressed with it thus far, taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.